Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. This is going to be my extreme minimalist shoe collection. I just wanted to talk a bit more about the few pairs of shoes that I own. And I own four pairs of shoes at the moment, so let's go through them. Now the first pair is a pair of sandals. These are Birkenstocks that I bought new, I think in 2017. And I had to resole them once, like they have a new part of sole back here. And so I did that. It was just a few euros that was very convenient. And now I hope they're good to go for another few seasons. Um, I do see that they are like a bit like the cork is kind of, yeah, getting marks. And they're kind of getting dirty inside here. So sometimes I, I try to clean them, but I don't really know the best tactic, the best the way to do that. Um, yeah, Birkenstock itself is not, I think, the most sustainable brand, but it's also not the worst. So I just bought them new, thinking they were pretty sustainable. I don't know if I would do that again. Also, it's the leather version, just because um, I think they're way sturdier, but I also don't know if I would do that next time. But it's been over four years now and they are holding up very well, so I'm glad. And I plan to use them for the next few seasons. I wear them like during summer whenever it's really warm, whenever I yeah want to not wear more than sandals. Um, but I have cold feet pretty uh, fast, so during the past few years I haven't been wearing them that much. Then the next pair of shoes, and that's the oldest pair of shoes, is these Scarpa Mojitos. But I bought them in... 2015 yes 2015 so they are six years they're over six years old now and they're still working I mean you can tell they're dirty because I was outside with them but the sole is walked down pretty much but it's still it works like no water is coming in um, it's still yeah it still works the seam here starts to fall apart a bit they are also leather and I also bought them new but in 2015 sustainability was not as much as of a priority for me so I just wanted to have some good quality shoes that would work well for like hiking and everyday life so I choose those. I loved their style their color back then I'm not sure about it now I'm not sure if I would repurchase a pair of these they are definitely amazing quality because I mean they are still alive and yeah the shoelaces like I changed them several times I think I don't know, I think that the first one, the original one was actually working pretty well, but I wanted to have another color and then I changed it and then that one broke and then I used these ones because I have them. And I keep saying that I think they are pretty ugly. Some of you seem to like them. Um, a lot of you also seem to agree with me. It's just what I had at home and I'm still using these and <laughs> these shoe laces are good quality as well, it seems, or like at least they're sturdy. I don't like the color combination, but it's like just my most practical shoe that I wear like all year round when it's not like too hot or too cold. Um, yeah, that I can wear like for hiking, for everyday life, for everything. So that has been the shoe that I've definitely used the most also during this summer because it was not very warm and yeah, I use it a lot and so it's amazing that I I guess I use this shoe like half of the days of the year so it's the same as if I would have worn this shoe every single day for over three years and it's still going strong so that's amazing quality and then um, let's talk about my winter boots. I got these secondhand. So these are not new. I got these secondhand, but they were as good as new. Like a person bought them here in the city I live and they said just that they did not fit perfectly. Like she decided to get them one size bigger, I think. So I bought them from her. Um, they were pretty expensive. I think I paid over 100 euros still. These are the Lems Boulder boots. They are made from leather on the outside, but since it's secondhand, I am more happy about it. Like I don't have that many ethical concerns if I buy it secondhand. I think they still have like, yeah, plastic, um, kinds of plastics inside to insulate. I put like a warmer sole in them than the one they came with. And these are just my winter boots. Like I wear them when it's snowing, when it's wet, when it's very cold. And I have never experienced any issues like um, ne I never had wet feet, I think, and so I'm happy with them. And I've had them for two winter seasons now, I think. 
Um, now I think one and a half. Like I bought them in early 2020 because I thought I needed them to go to Mongolia or a big trip that got cancelled obviously. And so yeah, I've worn them during the past full winter and also a bit during the winter of like 2019, 2020. For the style, I think it's okay. Like, I don't think they're ugly. I don't think they're the prettiest ever, but for these boots, it's really more about their functionality. So I bought them to keep my feet warm and dry and they can do that. So they're big enough for my feet to have a little bit of air for insulation, even if I'm wearing um, self-knitted socks. And so I haven't had any issues, but I haven't been to Scandinavian winters with like minus 30 degrees Celsius or something. So let's wait until that happens to tell you if they're really, really, really good when it comes to, um, yeah, keeping your feet warm. I think the brand is sustainable, but I'm not 100% sure since I bought them secondhand. Um, yeah, my winter boots. And then the fourth pair, the most recent addition to my shoe collection is these, um, yeah, just barefoot shoes. Oh, the, the winter boots are barefoot shoes as well, but the other two are not. So these are barefoot shoes, which means that the sole is very like flexible, which makes it easier for your foot to move more natural. So these are just for the purpose when I want to wear a pair of shoes that is a bit more dressed up. Now, a lot of you always keep asking me what I do when I need to go to an event where I need to dress up. Well, I kind of just don't have these kinds of events. Um, the last wedding I attended was in 2015. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm just too young to attend many weddings or I just don't have enough friends that want to invite me. But I have like two thoughts about this. One, I don't need to keep an item in my wardrobe that I'm only gonna use every few years. I can borrow it then or find a solution then. And the other thing is whether it's a wedding or a funeral or other events where I need to dress up a bit, I kind of like, I mean, I don't want to dress completely wrong, but I also don't think dress codes are the most important thing. Now, I definitely feel bad if and misplaced if I wear completely different things than everybody else around me and if I'm in an environment where I don't feel at home. But yeah, these are the, the shoes where, where I think like, yeah, I can wear them. They're not dirty. They're not like very outdoorsy, sporty. These are made by a German brand called Senmotic, I think. They are also leather. They claim to be sustainable. And I think they manufacture here in Germany. I got them from one of you, from one of my viewers. She bought them, they are new, but she just didn't seem to like, like them enough or they just didn't work for her. And so she asked if I wanted to buy them from her. First, she even suggested that I can have them for free. But then I said like, they are pretty new. So I'm obviously gonna pay you something. And I think I paid 60 euros for them. They are also leather inside. So that's good. Like it's not plastic, it can breathe but they are water resistant at least because it's leather. And I haven't been using them a lot because they don't have like a dedicated purpose. Like all of the other shoes, it's very clear when I'm gonna wear them. I'm gonna wear my winter boots when it's cold. I'm gonna wear my sandals when it's really warm. I'm gonna wear my other shoes when I'm like outside in the forest, in the mud, in the mountains and things like that. And these kind of are everyday shoes, but since I want to use up my sneakers, since I don't really, love them that much anymore. I just wanted to use them up. So I mostly use these, but they're just not giving up. And then I would wear these instead whenever I don't have these and the, the sneakers anymore. But yeah, maybe I'm going to start wearing them just like that. Or yeah, whenever I want to have really a cohesive outfit, because I think these colors of my sneakers just do not fit anything else I have in my wardrobe. And these shoes, um, do. They have the perfect color for being combined with everything in my wardrobe almost. Um, and so I'm happy to have them. I had three pairs of shoes for the longest time and I um, was very happy with it. And you can see I have a fourth pair of shoe and I don't really wear them a lot. And that's exactly why I had three pairs of shoes. But I do see myself also maybe having four shoes or even five pairs of shoes in the future. Right now, the thing that I feel like maybe I'm missing is um, a pair of like stylish sneakers. Now I'm definitely influenced by trends there, I think. 
but I've just been seeing so many also sustainable sneakers maybe made from recycled plastic I don't know if I want to have that in my wardrobe but that's just that's the pair of shoes that I see sometimes that I feel like oh I'd like to have a pair of these shoes but on the other hand I just really don't need that pair of shoes so for now I'm gonna keep my four pairs of shoes I'm happy with how it works. Of course, if you live in a different climate where you don't have four seasons, maybe you don't need four pairs of shoes. So I do get many comments that are like, I could never live with as little as three or pair, four pair of shoes. And then I also get a lot of comments saying, how like, you're not a real minimalist. You should be able to um, do with one pair of shoes. Well, yeah, this is my life. And I think four pairs of shoes are, a good balance between one pair and 100 pairs and so I think I do have something to wear for every occasion. Um, it's pretty easy to choose because it's pretty clear what I'm wearing for every occasion and so the four pairs is what I choose to have right now. Now I would be really interested in hearing from you how many pairs of shoes do you have? Do you feel like you have enough or too much or the right amount? And that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and if you did you can give it a thumbs up because that would really help my channel and if you want to see more videos I'm gonna link you a video here and a playlist here where you can watch if you want to and I also hope to see you next time. Bye!